What's going on everybody? It's Mike, Sony Slope Homestead. Hey, if you're new to the channel, do us a favor and subscribe if you like what you see because uh, about 80% of our watchers aren't subscribed. And man, I just wish you guys would uh, be a little supportive. Man, you guys don't ever subscribe, ever. Oh, boo-hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. We're going to talk about these uh, army worms or tomato worms or caterpillars. I don't know what the official name is for them, but everybody calls them tomato worms and what they're doing to my plant and what really cool trick that somebody on TikTok told me to do to find them. And it's at night using a black light. So check that out. Here's the video on that. So yes, we, uh, we are dealing with a power outage, but that's a generator running down there. Thank God for generators. So I had a pepper plant totally get eaten down by a uh, tomato worm. So we are gonna look for tomato worms on the plants using this black light method. They said that they will stick out if you have them because they're kind of hard to see unless they're giant they said they should glow i don't see any yet oh ha. there he is you guys see that like a fluorescent light that my friend He's an ugly little spud, isn't he? I think he can hear you, Ray. Don't move. It won't hurt you. Ah! Is a tomato worm. Let's see if there's any more on here that I can find. I don't know how these I don't know how these guys come about. Oh, look at that. There's another one. Man, what a cool trick. I am so glad someone said something because these guys would have caused so much damage i looked for these during the day and i could not find them and i was wondering do they like sit in the soil or something and come out at night but uh yeah i couldn't find them at all let's see if there's any more because i mean look at that so there's that one there and then there's that one there oh man that is awesome Let's check the back side, see if we can find any more. No, I'm not seeing any. Whew. But I am getting eaten up by mosquitoes. None here. That one's gone. None there. Let's go check the other. Let's go check the other plants here. Give me a minute. Hey, what is that? Huh. All right. I'm sure we'll find some more. Because I had a plant over here that just got demolished by one too. Let's check the back sides. <laughs> Try not to step in any fresh landmines. Yeah, we check out the tachi plants. We're gonna put some uh we're gonna put some organic uh repellent on these bad boys tomorrow. That's actually for these worms to get rid of them. I'm not seeing any. Guys, with this light, I mean they stick out. Yeah, look at that. I mean That this is like nothing then BAM Lime green neon sticks out like a sore thumb. Same there. We got you. Let's go take take care of these suckers. So the light that I'm using is just I don't know, it's not it doesn't have a brand name on it or anything. It just this is what it looks like and you know, it's used for detecting paint, pet stains. 
and uh, things of that nature. So, I mean, use it for carpet. This is where my buddy got it for me. He uh, he got it for carpet stains, pet stains. So, I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. If I find a link, I will definitely put it in there for you. So, don't be beating me up on my tomato plants. I know I didn't cut a lot of the suckers off and stuff, and but uh, these uh, tomato worms have just been wreaking havoc this was a nice bell pepper plant a nice little red bell pepper plant and it's gone and uh they were trying to work on that one and oh, they they are just going to town on this stuff so i'm not much on you know treating for bugs and stuff i kind of just let things roll and you know i kind of pay the price for it but uh i found this on amazon and i'm not being sponsored by them but it says you know it shows a picture of that tomato worm on it and it's uh, organic. It says used for organic farming. Uh, feeding worms, caterpillars, trips, leaf miners, and other listed pets. So we're going to give this a shot because I am tired of dealing with these guys. I know how to spot them now with that black light, which is really awesome. But uh, it's time to actually start treating these plants with some chemical. Otherwise, I'm not going to have tomatoes. And we got these nice Tachi tomatoes from... Um, Haas tools or Haas seed and I really want to try these things. I don't want to miss out on these uh, Tachis. You're going to lay in your bed outside. Do you get, you realize it's like 96 degrees and 100% humidity. So we're going to give that spray a try because we really want to make a marinara out of these Tachi tomatoes. They absolutely look amazing. They're from Haas. They're the same ones that Cog is grown over at his place and they just act, look absolutely amazing. We don't want to lose this crop because of insects or these stupid uh tomato worm so hopefully this stuff works i'm pretty sure it will and let's get to spraying is it just me or when it gets hot out things don't seem to work like they're supposed to seems like the hotter it gets the less things work naturally on their own in your favor everything is a battle like right now my leaf sprayer is losing pressure out the top for some reason so it looks like we got to hurry up and get spraying. Woo. Glad you guys didn't fall off the tractor. On to our next one there. So, like I said, I mix this a little heavy. I don't use it that often, but if it's organic, it can't be that bad, right? So, now this year, my, uh, my raised beds, they haven't done it as good as they have in the past. And I think I need to uh, mend that soil back up. You know, maybe apply, apply something different in there because we always do tomatoes. But uh, I always like, I always make sure that I treat the soil and make sure I fertilize it and stuff so we're not depleting it too much. And man, it just, it didn't do good this year. But I'll tell you what did do good this year. My raised beds right here on the hill. Now we didn't really plant too much in these last year and it can and it shows because these guys they are kicking butt the cucumbers up there they're monstrous they're putting out tons of fruit those are Haas pickling cucumbers and uh these right here these are the i think they're Haas um mortgage tomatoes i'm not i can't remember I'm quite sure but surprising enough i haven't had any uh uh, tomato caterpillars or tomato worms attack these just up top where the rocks are at really weird I don't know if they're picky or they're problematic in certain areas and environments but they have not been an issue anywhere else besides up top by the rocks in those tubs so you guys figure that one out asparagus is doing really well now we've been planting this this is uh the second year and we have just been leaving it alone, man. We just let it do its thing. And then we have about 50 more plants. Find it up there, but I really got to weed that all out because the weeds overtook the plants. But the good thing about asparagus is it's uh, pretty hardy, so there's not much that's going to hurt it, take it down. And in fact, I've actually been told by uh, folks who grow it to pour Epsom salt all the way around it, and it'll keep the weeds down. I figured that would kill asparagus plant, but they said that they just love it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of that, 
of me in the middle of night during a power outage looking for tomato worms with a black light. Now, that was awesome. That tip that I got from a viewer on the black light method for searching for those worms was phenomenal. It was so much fun to do that. Very interesting. And I just love learning things like that. So I really appreciate you guys' comments and your input, trust me, because I've never, <laughs> I never would have thought of that. So, so, well, that's the end of this video. I'll see you on the next episode, guys. See you later. Yeah.